let's get into some of the the numbers now, like the the actual numbers here. So, Christian, you have a bunch of downline agents, right? You have your own agency. Um, so I like to when when I'm talking to someone, I try to give them very conservative ballpark average agent numbers. Obviously, I don't want to take someone who's an expert like you and say, well, this is what Christians did. Why, why, <laughs> why aren't you close? You know, well, Christian's also been writing business for almost a decade and, and he's very experienced. So, you know, mileage is going to vary here. If you're just a new eight, if you're new or maybe just, you know, you haven't really figured out how to sell yet, but you're still working on it. So that mindset, that all being said, conservative agent, you get 20 T65 leads from us, from Lead Heroes. What do you think the average agent can do with 20 possibilities of people turning 65 wanting to talk to an agent about Medicare? I, I always believe that the rule of thumb for on uh, an average closing ratio is, is going to be about 20%. Um, might even be depending on who you talk to, like if we're just talking like average, average, it might even be 15%. Um, but I would say 20% is probably what it, it, it would look like. Um, and I mean, it just depends, you know, like there's certain orders where like we'll get where we probably are looking at 30% or above, but like we just might be in a groove or, you know, the, the stars might align or something like that. Right. Then we'll have other orders that are more like 15% or something like that. But I'd say on average, the, the number that I constantly hear and I, and I think it bodes true with most agents that I see is probably about 20% of leads is probably your, your average ballpark mark. I like that. I think, I think an agent who's, if, if you've kind of figured out the sales process, you're not brand new. You've been doing this for six, nine, 12 months, maybe a couple years. You should be able to get close to 20%. I, I would totally agree with that. I get even more conservative when I'm talking to people and I will tell them, hey, if I give you 20 of these leads, 20 turning 65 prospects, you know, and I don't know why, but I picked up this miniature ruler. I feel like, <laughs> I feel like I'm a teacher now all of a sudden. If I give you 20 turning 65 prospects, <laughs> even at a 10, let's say you're only closing 10%, right? One yeah. out of 10. One out of 10 or two out of 20 in this scenario, that should be a minimum of what? $1,000 commission, right? On on two turning 65. And you guys, that could be one lead. You could get a husband and wife potentially, right? Maybe they're both aging in around the same time. Doesn't always happen that way, but it can happen, right? Same year birthdays um, or close to. Uh, I mean, one lead could easily lead into multiple applications, but let's just say you close two leads and you get two applications. That should be at least $1,000 in upfront commissions. I'm not talking about lifetime client value here, just the upfront commissions, right? Right, right, for sure. Like, um, And that's not even jumping into the lifetime value, of right. the client, which comes going to jump. I mean, it makes it even more of a ridiculous thing, like right. even one if you look at the lifetime value, makes it a, a tremendous ROI for you. Right. Um, but but yes, yeah. I mean, if you're selling new to Medicare, Medicare Advantage apps, you're looking at north of a thousand dollars on two apps. Um, if you're writing meds up, let's say, and you're probably looking at, pro I don't know, just realistically speaking, maybe six hundred bucks. At, you know, around if it's if you're if you're on advances and th those kind of things. But first, your commission, yes, you know, six hundred dollars, yeah. but med subs are also going to typically be a little stickier, you know? So like if we're talking about the lifetime value of a client, usually that number runs around five to six years. Um, whereas MA might be more like four to five years on average yeah. um, with a lot of the numbers. So, but even if you keep those clients for like three years, right? I mean, your return of investment is, is stupid. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's beat me you, you get you beat me to the punch on on this one because that's exactly <laughs> what i was trying to get to here is the way that this promotion you guys is structured when if we can give you 20 possible t65 prospects 20 people that said they want to talk to someone about medicare and they're somewhere in that ballpark of turning 65 in two to five months 
and you only close 10%, that means you gave us $500 and we're giving you $1,000. And that's extremely conservative numbers. If you can double that, like Christian said, 20%, which I don't disagree, you don't have health underwriting. So that's completely out of the question here. All you have to do is, you know, educate them, make sure that you put them on the right plan and um, make sure that, you know, any anything else that comes up, there's a specific doctor they want to keep, et cetera. There's, there's certain things that I think you have to deal with that you don't necessarily deal with with the older crowd, but still 20%. Now you're closing four people. Now you gave us 500. We gave you $2,000 in upfront commission. Those four people lifetime client value is really worth almost triple that. So you gave us $500. We're giving you $6,000 in lifetime commissions. That's the sort of mindset you have to get into. There's the the mic drop. Oh, guys, if you don't watch Taco Tuesday, I also <laughs> want to take a minute and plug Christian Brindle here, my co-host. We Every Tuesday, right around 3 Pacific Standard, 6 Eastern Time, we go live here in Six Figure Medicare Agent Facebook group. You can catch the replays on the Six Figure Medicare Agent YouTube channel. And it is us eating tacos, talking about insurance. And many times we also have guests or even multiple guests on talking about insurance, um, all everything topical. Um, so definitely don't don't miss out on on those episodes. If you're enjoying this clip, you're gonna love our shows on Talk. <laughs> <laughs>